Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Do. Our daily started out, let's play on the channel where every day in game is a day in real life. Check that weather, I think it's all sunny and everything. Um, yeah, rainy tomorrow, that's nice. And the fortune? Displeased. Bull I can't swear. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'll have bleeped it, or something, I don't know. Um, okay, I, it, what? Didn't I, didn't I just get money from Mayor Lewis yesterday? <laughs> the man is just shelling out subsidies. Listen, I'll take it. I'll take it. I love that. <laughs> Give me the money, Mayor Lewis. I want it all. I need it all. It's what I need in my bones. Now, okay, we're here and we're running. <laughs> we're sprinting back home. I, I, you know, it's great here and all that fun jazz. However, as for our conversation yesterday, I got things to do. Things to do, things to see, missions to accomplish. And uh, right now, I'm looking for Leo. He should not be here. Never mind. You tell me your secrets. What do you want? The one hidden in the mountain treasures. Listen here, man. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know where they're hidden. I don't know where they are. I'm scared, I'm lost, and I'm afraid, most importantly. But, uh, we're gonna go to, well, we're gonna go home, um, because we need to, there's something I need to check. I don't remember what. <laughs> I have no idea what. I think the, oh, the coral pond. I got my fingers crossed that the coral pond is gonna give us limestone. If it happens, it's gonna be a good day. Let me tell you, it's gonna be a great day. Also fun. Very fun. Look at, look at me. Hello. Look. Look at me go. All right. I had to take a little beauty, beauty pause for a second, you know? Um, Kent, 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 have I given you many gifts this week? I think we're buddies. I'll just, I'll just say that we're good. I'll say we're good. And uh, we're going to head over to the home for the moment of truth. Do we have a limestone in the pond? Yay or nay? Answer, probably nay, but I'm hoping yay. You know what I mean? I think we're all hoping. So, let's see. Got our fingers crossed here. Fingers crossed. Nothing. Disrespect. But it's okay. It's okay. So I understand. Uh, we do have some cranberries ready, which is lovely. Um, we're going to be making oodles of cash. I think... Maybe it wasn't the best, uh... Prismatic, sorry. We're, uh, getting distracted. Maybe it wasn't the best choice to plant, uh, cranberries. I, I took a look at some of the discussion around it. But I, I, I think ultimately they're gonna be, you know, pretty good value as far as things go. Um, I just need to... Let's grab all of this beautiful iridium. Just we can gauge two here. How much iridium do we have? 30? It's not bad. We just need to make, uh, how much is that? 20,000, but we just need to make uh, solid money. <laughs> I can't think of numbers. We need to make some solid cash here and then we'll be, we'll be really on our way towards making all of those, not idols, all of the pillar things that help us teleport, the obelisks. <laughs> We're trying, folks. I think that's uh, that's all I can say. Is I'm trying. I'm trying. My, I'm doing what I can. Okay. <laughs> but uh, as well, let's just see here. Ooh, everything's ready. This is gonna be a big day for money. I can't wait. Even though these things are kind of like, I don't want to say they're low quality, but they're certainly not high quality. Also, I will say as well, the difference between the preserving bins and the dehydrators for generating revenue is wild. Um, much better, financially, um, the preserving bins. But the dehydrators, they're just... They're just so... Easy. They're so quick, I think. And that's why we're still making use of dehydrators is because we, we still do generate, like, good money from them. It's just a matter of 
they're not the most cost-effective thing. So realistically, if you wanted the most money, you would go for preserving bins. Actually, you'd go for wine and then you'd age the wine and all that fun stuff. But, you know, I'm not too worried about it. See, all of this, though, all of this fruit and goods and whatnot that we are getting from these... Even though it's not the high value stuff, it is still more value than what it would be worth. And we're not really going out of our way and growing this stuff kind of outside of the system here. We are just simply taking things that we already have and throwing them in here. And that's what I think is is most important to recognize is like this is kind of like free money in a way because if I didn't throw them in there... Like these things. Sure, I'm not putting ancient fruit in them. But if I didn't throw those things in there, I wouldn't be getting money anyway. So, you know, it's just a balancing act. It's all a big old balancing act. It's all good. It's all great um, money. It's all I want to see. We should be getting several thousand cranberries throughout this season. So I'm excited about that. And let's drop off a couple more things here. I want to get rid of the fish in my inventory. Give me that as well. I want to get rid of the fish, and then we're going to go looking for that butterfly, because it's supposed to give us a bunch of money, and I think the max is 50,000. So I think, like, I'm kind of there. Uh, ooh. Okay, so there's wine. But I don't have... Do I have any more wine? Ooh, perfect. Okay, and do we have anything in here? No. All right. As well, let's just grab kind of all of these because these help us craft things anyway. So it's all pretty good. I'm I'm quite I'm quite content with how things are going thus far. You know, a lot of work, a lot of work making this, making all this man money. You know, I'm a, I'm a I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. A business plan, most importantly. You know, we're making cash. We're making sweet, sweet dollars. And let's see how much money we're going to get from this. I always forget. And because nothing's lined up, I'm always, like, super disappointed because I really want to, like, walk out and be like, I'm selling all of it at once. Um, so, oh, I only had enough wine. Okay. Make $50,000 off that. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. All uh, right. So... Still not making good use of all the, the space on the farm, though. But we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> now, we're going to go hunting because this, uh, this is an interesting facet. We're going to go hunting for this butterfly. And we're also just going to grab, I think, is it spring? It's spring. Don't know if you folks knew this, and I haven't, uh, I haven't actually done it. Oh, there's the other wine. I knew I had more wine on my person. So it's, it doubles its value. Okay, pretty good. Uh, if you feed your horse a carrot, ah, it loves me. It uh, it makes the horse go zoom. The horse will go zoom. So that's a good day for me. Uh, I'm just gonna throw the wine in here for a sec and you're coming with me. We're looking for this butterfly. Now the unfortunate thing is, I don't know what the butterfly looks like. I also don't know where all the butterfly can be. So I'm not quite sure if the butterfly can be in, like, these areas or not. Like, these special ones. I don't even think this is part of the valley anymore. I don't think it can be, you know, out and about. Um, how? What? I know I can't get in there, that's to the summit, but how is there are the berries up there? That's cheap. They're cheating me. They're cheating me. I never really come up here at all. Um, there's not really much point. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> I will stop by Leo's little hut though. Hello, is Leo home? No. But hello. Bed? Okay. Nice little Nice little establishment he's got going on there. 
not seeing the butterfly presently. Oh, actually, I'm here. This is this is good. I do want to check in with these folks here. There's a lot of trees to cut down. <laughs> Have I done anything? Oh. Okay. Sure. What are we missing? Okay, we need to kill 140 more slimes. Oh, okay. Void spirits. We can make that happen. Dust sprites. We can make that happen. I think those are the ones that fly at us. The serpents were close. Pepper Rexes, despite having killed so many, still not maxed out. Hmm. I feel like what's going to happen with that is we're going to end up uh, really rolling through them by the time it's all said and done. Like, when we go to, to do them, it's going to be, like, quick things. Easy peasy. Hmm. Hello. Boom, boom, boom. And a boom over here. Might as well. I'm here, aren't I? Explode. I know, it's a waste of money, but it's so fun to watch it go boom. Also getting multiple diamonds from this excursion. I think maybe we cut down a few trees. Um, but my thought is to go to Ginger Island as well, just because there should be... Oh no, it's raining. Is it raining today on Ginger Island? It's raining tomorrow on Ginger Island. Now I don't remember. I looked at the weather, I can't recall. No, give me my wood. Ah, nice. And then... Sure. We're still looking for that butterfly. We're not going to find it, though. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably not going to find it. But we can say it's not here. We're going to run through the valley. Um, it's probably in the forest, would be my guess. I don't really know what it looks like. So it's all kind of a big old, big old guess for me. Is there? No. Okay. All right. So we've checked kind of the center part of town here. And we're going to go over to the right part here. And then I haven't checked the beach yet. So we'll check the beach. But I'm pretty sure it would be... I, I'm almost certain it's going to be in the forest. Because that makes the most sense to me. Also, again, I don't really know what it looks like. I'm just imagining it'll be kind of... Almost like evident what it is when I see it. I'm just hoping it's not like near the edge of the map and I'm 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 missing it with some of my like speedy roll throughs. Okay, we're skipping the beach for now because I'm I I might go over there anyway tomorrow. So we'll go this way first. Just because I feel like this is where it is. I feel like it would glow as well. And I don't know if it despawns at any point. So my torches shoot. Nothing so far. Nothing so far. I'm being sneaky snaked. They're not going to give me my little butterfly. I don't think it exists. I don't think this butterfly is real. That's what I, 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 I refuse. I've been waiting this whole time, by the way, for the butterfly. I have been so excited to get the butterfly. That's one of the reasons I check every day. I'm like, I want that butterfly. I never vocalized it, but that's the truth. Now we'll check in here. Uh, hmm. No, I don't think I must have missed it. I must have missed it. Oh, sorry. I'm 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 looking off as I'm as I'm slaughtering here. Now, if you folks saw it while it was running around, you're going to have to let me know. Embarrass me in front of all of my peers. <laughs> Where's my horse? I don't know. Now I'm on foot. Screw it. We're walking. I left my horse out here. Okay, good, good, good. I was like, where's my pony? <laughs> Hello. 
We didn't check the beach. We we missed out on a free fifty thousand dollars or whatever the amount of money I was gonna get was. Going to the beach though, I might do that. Oh, I screwed up over here. That's unfortunate. Boink. Well, you know, not entirely surprising. Oh, hello. Come here, you. All right, listen, folks. We're gonna waste a warp totem, okay? Because I just need to know. I need to know. There's no, I have no resiliency. <laughs> Is it here? I wonder if it despawns at a certain point as well. Hmm. Listen, I didn't see a butterfly. That means that it didn't happen. That means that I can't be judged for this failure. <laughs> we will head home though. And go to sleep. Uneventful. Unfruitful. But that's okay. It was an interesting day running around the valley. I haven't done it quite that aggressively in a while. But we should have made a bunch of money, maybe, sort of, can we have done that? I don't know. Words are hard. <laughs> it's a pretty good day, if you ask me. Pretty good day. And, uh, you know, if you folks did enjoy today's episode, do let me know down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, and as always, thank you for stopping by. Happy you did. And for this series, well, see you tomorrow.